Sciences Solar Eclipses What is a solar eclipse? In the solar system, our planet Earth orbits the Sun in 365 and 144 days. The Earth has a satellite, the Moon, which orbits the Earth every 27.3 days. A solar eclipse occurs when the Moon passes in front of the Sun and blocks its light. A solar eclipse can only occur during a new moon. Solar eclipses occur thanks to an extraordinary coincidence. The moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but it is also 400 times closer to Earth, which gives us the impression that the moon and the sun are the same size. This is why when the moon passes in front of the sun, it can completely block it and create a solar eclipse. There are three types of solar eclipses. Total eclipse. This is the most spectacular type of eclipse. The moon completely blocks the sun and the sky turns black. We can then see the solar corona, which is the outer atmosphere of the sun. Annular eclipse. The moon does not completely block the sun, but it covers it with a ring of light. Partial eclipse. The moon only blocks part of the sun. This phenomenon can be observed over a large part of the Earth outside the shadow band of an annular or total eclipse. The stages of a solar eclipse vary depending on the type of eclipse. However, here are the general stages you can observe during a total eclipse. First contact. The moon begins to obscure the edge of the sun. This contact is often difficult to observe with the naked eye. Penumbra. The moon's shadow begins to be projected onto the Earth. Sunlight becomes more diffuse and the temperature may drop slightly. Second contact. The moon completely obscures the sun. This is the moment of totality when the solar corona becomes visible around the moon. Totality? This is the time when the eclipse is at its peak. The duration of totality varies from one eclipse to another, but it generally does not exceed a few minutes. Third contact. The moon begins to move away from the sun. Sunlight gradually returns. Fourth contact. The moon has completely cleared the sun. The eclipse is over. Where and when to observe a solar eclipse? Solar eclipses are not visible everywhere on Earth. They are only visible in a narrow area called the band of totality. The band of totality changes with each eclipse. The next solar eclipse will take place on Monday, April 8, 2024. It will be a total eclipse. It will be visible from North America. Here is the totality band of the eclipse. Let's look at it in more detail. The eclipse will take place across several time zones. We will use CDT time as our reference time zone. The start of the total eclipse is expected at 1.07 p.m. CDT. The eclipse will cross Mexico, the United States, and Canada. The end of the total eclipse is expected at 2.52 p.m. The duration of totality is 4 minutes and 30 seconds. The width of the totality band is approximately 250 kilometers. And after this eclipse, the next eclipses will take place. In 2024, on October 2nd, there will be an annular solar eclipse in South America. In 2025, on March 29th, there will be a partial solar eclipse in North America and Europe. On September 21, there will be a partial solar eclipse in Antarctica. In 2026, on August 12th, there will be a partial solar eclipse in Europe and Asia. In 2027, on February 26th, there will be an annular solar eclipse in South America and Africa. On August 2, there will be a total solar eclipse in Africa and Europe. So how to identify the right place to observe an eclipse? 
Here are some tips for identifying an ideal observation site. Determine the area of totality. The zone of totality is the area where the moon will completely obscure the sun during the eclipse. Don't forget to check the path of the eclipse and identify the area of totality in your area. Choose favorable weather. Bad weather can spoil eclipse viewing. Therefore, choose a location with clear skies and a low probability of clouds. Check the weather forecast and look for viewing sites with clear skies during the eclipse. Avoiding obstacles. Make sure the horizon is clear in the chosen location. Avoid areas surrounded by buildings, trees, or mountains that could obstruct the view of the sun. Find an accessible site. Choose a viewing site that is easily accessible by car or public transportation, especially if you want to view the eclipse in the area of totality. Allow enough time to get there and find a suitable location. Consider crowds. If you want to view the eclipse in a popular location, prepare for crowds and arrive early to find a spot. Consider light pollution. Light pollution can affect the visibility of stars and planets during the eclipse. Choose a location with a dark night sky if you want to observe these phenomena. Attention! If you plan to observe a solar eclipse, be careful! Never look directly at the sun. This can cause permanent damage to the eyes. Get eclipse glasses specially designed to view eclipses safely. Buy your eclipse glasses as soon as possible, as they may be out of stock before the eclipse. Never use ordinary sunglasses, binoculars, or telescopes without a proper solar filter. Wear eclipse glasses for the duration of the eclipse. Supervise children and make sure they wear eclipse glasses. Yes, no glasses, no eclipse. Good observation. A bientôt Tu as aimé cette vidéo Abonne-toi à la chaîne et mets un pouce bleu Pour acheter notre livre, suis le lien dans la description. Et pour nous soutenir, clique sur le bouton « Rejoindre ».